I came to Chris about six weeks before the Boston Marathon. Um, typical training regimen, you know, more is better, more mileage, you know, just what everybody typically does with a terrible shin splint. I'm very injury prone runner, um, qualified for this and called my sister a couple days before, you know, I gimped through a few runs, um, called my sister and my mom said, I've cashed it in. I, there's just no way I'm going to be able to make it. My shin hurts so badly. And a friend of mine recommended me to him because the daughter, her daughter came here. And said so he had to check him out. So on a lark, I just stopped here and he happened to be here. So I said, I, and I, I was just broken. I said, what, what do I do? Can you help me? He said, yeah, I can help you. And so, I'm, and you know, he told me about the neurological part of it and I, he had me at brain cause I'm, that, that it makes so much sense to me and how the, it's all connected. So, um, so he said, yes, come in and see me. And I, um, started ARP with him. It was, we started on a Tuesday after 10 sessions of ARP. I was completely pain free. Um, and he said, we have plenty of time to train you. I said, I don't know what to do. I don't, you know, I, I don't know how to train. And in four weeks, um, I did two runs. I went out for a 13 mile run and a 22 mile run, hugely successful runs. Um, and we just, the rest of the time we just did force absorption, um, and teaching my body how to run properly. So I not only went to the Boston marathon, um, with only two runs under my belt, um, which is so atypical of, of runners. And I was four and a half minutes off of a personal record. Um, had it not been for the heat, it was very, very warm that day. My body sometimes doesn't do super well in the heat, has nothing to do with training. And the amount of potty stops I had to make and my bladder held about four drops that day. <laughs> so for whatever reason, um, I would have had a personal record. It was one of the best runs I've had. Um, and I just am so eternally grateful to him for um, not only getting me there and getting to the, me to that race of a lifetime, but to um, change my mindset. I'm kind of a hamster on a wheel doing the same type of thing over and over and getting nowhere to totally change it, fixing me emotionally with respect to exercise and running um, and physically. I just... Um, I'm running empowers me and that's, you know, you get that huge endorphin rush, but I feel empowered when I run. Um, but I feel equally as empowered by working out here. Um, I have learned every time I'm in this gym, I learned something new about my body. Chris is out helping, doing new things to make people better. And it's amazing to learn with him. I mean, it's just, it's, he's remarkable. I tell everybody that I know about him that you don't, you know, I told all the people that I run with that you don't have to run and run and run and run and run to train for a particular race. I mean, you, you, you can do it with very little running and you don't have to beat your body up the way that everybody else thinks they do. So my problem after the race was that my body is working so efficiently that it's very hard because I, enjoy, I truly love running. So it, it's, I have to keep my mileage, you know, in check cause I will go out and run and run and run because I'm running so much more efficiently. My glutes are working, my hamstrings are working. I mean, just muscles that never ever worked before are just, I feel like I'm flying. It's just amazing. It's just truly amazing. So, um, he's turned, I've never, ever wanted to go out for a run after a race ever. I'm always burned out. It's one more track workout and then you race and then you're like, okay, now I don't want to run anymore. I couldn't wait. I went out, um, I ran the race on Monday and I did a nine mile run on Saturday. Felt like a million bucks. I mean, so I, it's just, he's just transformed my training, everything, my body, my learning. And it's, it's always a learning experience in here. It's absolutely wonderful. And I encourage anybody and no one could believe that I, uh, out of my community of runners, including my sister who's runs and runs and runs, um, that I did it with two distant, two long runs. And that was it for the whole training. And I had a wildly successful race. So he's got me for life, whether <laughs> I probably drive him crazy, but he's got me for life. So it's been just a, an honor and a privilege to work with him. And I will continue to do so.
Um, the, one of the best part is, parts of this is that you know you see people doing ARP and you see people exercising from all walks of life, and we are all in it together. So I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. The first couple times I came in here, the first few workouts, I was in tears. I'm like, oh my gosh, thinking I am this fit person. I couldn't do one exercise that he asked me to do. But you see other people come in here and they struggle just as much. And I always say to anybody that I meet in here or anybody that's working out, we are all in this together. We're all in here helping one another. Jamie who helps, Jeff, all the, you know, Ryan that comes in, he was in a couple weeks over spring break. I mean, he was, they're just wonderful people just to help you out and just to, everybody's here to make you better. And all the people that come in are here to work, make you better. So it's been fun even for me to have know and exercise pretty well to be able to go and, s and help somebody who's just like, oh my gosh, how do you do this? To go and say, hey, try this, do this. You'll get used to it. It will get better because that's what Chris and everybody else, just stick with it. There's a learning curve and it will get better. And it does. And it's so fun to watch everybody progress just together because when you're in this gym everybody is working their butts off and we're working together it's it's it is a group effort it's and it's just a one it's a wonderful environment and we're all everybody's so encouraging you can do it one more rep you know it's just it's wonderful it's absolutely wonderful